Hello folks. Uh, my name is Mohammad Misbauddin and I am e education provider of medical coding and I am teaching you about the certification called certified professional coder. So I am going to teach you about uh, the integumentary system subsection accession. So let's start. What is accession? Accession means simply accession means to cut out either cancerous or non-cancerous tumors and uh, in addition to that in this procedure surrounding of tumors are removed which is healthy tissue known as margin what is margin now the healthy tissue which is surrounded with cancerous tumor or non-cancerous tumor so how procedure happens what uh, physician will do how the procedure he will perform the physician will prep wrap uh, and anesthetize the area which is affected uh, with uh, non-cancerous or cancerous tumors of patient and uh, he will use uh, scalper or other bladed instrument perpendicular to benign or malignant lesion. Please remember this procedure is not for skin tax removal. This is uh, actually a removal of uh, benign lesions or malignant lesions now what is malignant and benign lesion malignant lesion means the cancerous cells which will be spreading to another part of the body or organs okay. then benign means the cancerous cells which will not spread to other part of the body or organs you can see the example here these are the uh, types of cancers skin cancer names actually physician will mention about benign or malignant lesion so these are the keywords for uh, uh, benign these are the examples for benign neoplasm cicatrical fibrose inflammatory uh, congenital cystic lesion these are the examples of benign and uh, malignant examples are basal cell carcinoma squamous cell carcinoma melanoma these are the examples of malignant uh, lesion so what physician will do he will excise down into the subcutaneous tissue into elliptical wedge or circular shape to remove the entire lesion so the main purpose of this procedure is to remove the entire tumor either it may be cancerous or non-cancerous benign or non malignant finally he will submit to the laboratory uh, for analysis and he will check for bleeding and then closes uh, that bond in a single layer okay this is about excision what coder will do he has to follow some guidelines to assign codes so what uh, he has to do he has to look up for a body site then body group then he has to identify type of lesion benign or malignant which will be mentioned by a physician or or else there are these are the examples to identify that in this excision also we have to code each lesion separately so the next guideline is you do not add the diameter on the same side or different anatomical side of same body group so in the shaving also you will not add the diameter of same body group same side or so in excision also you do not add the diameter on the same side or different anatomical side of same body group so consider highest diameter and lowest margin in the excision reports uh, what physician will do he will mention the diameter and also margin so what you have to do he will mention like uh, the diameter is 5 into 6 centimeter so which one you will take diameter 5 into 6 is there so you have to consider 6 centimeters because that was the highest number so highest number will be considered as diameter then he mentioned the margin 1 into 2 centimeter so you will ignore the 2 and you will consider 1 as uh, the lowest margin and you will double the margin 1 plus 1 it will become 2 then you will add these 2 to the highest diameter that is 6 6 plus 2 is 8 centimeters so you have to assign the code for 8 centimeter which we will see in the CPT book before that uh, we have some more guidelines to see excision plus simple repair that is you have to code only excision after excising the physician will do simple repair so no need to consider simple repair you just code excision you have to identify you have to search for the 
एक्सीशन प्रोसीजर कोड ओके इफ एक्सीशन प्लस इंटरमीडिएट रिपेयर इज देयर देन यू हैव टू लुक फॉर टू कोड्स इंटरमीडिएट रिपेयर एंड एक्सीशन एज वेल सेम हियर एक्सीशन प्लस कॉम्प्लेक्स रिपेयर रिपेयर आई विल टीच यू इन द इन द फ्यूचर क्लासेस वॉट इज रिपेयर ओके दीज आर द्री काइंड ऑफ रिपेयर सो only if simple repair is mentioned you have to code excision otherwise uh, if two different uh, intermediate and complex repair is mentioned with excision then you have to code both every time you have to code both if intermediate repair is mentioned with excision procedure then you have to code both if complex repair is mentioned with the excision then again you have to code both if biopsy plus excision is there you have to code only excision because biopsy is bundled in this excision procedure again if excision plus surgical grafting this is uh, another subsection which i will explain you in the future class these both are mentioned in the document then you have to code both again if excision plus att is mentioned what is att att means adjacent tissue transfer if uh, excision and uh, att is mentioned in the patient's report uh, by physician so you have to code only att because the excision procedure is bundled in adjacent tissue transfer procedure codes here we have a body group in the shaving uh, procedure also these are the same in addition to that we have axillary what is axillary this is related to armpit then we have another group perianal perineal or umbilical this is the another group so we have uh, five groups here in excision let's see codes of excision this is an example excision malignant lesion of the back 1 cm as you can see in the picture there is a margin of 2 cm so you need to double that margin 2 plus 2 that will become 4 so that 4 cm of margin you will add it to the diameter of 1 cm of that malignant lesion then the total will become 5 cm according to that 5 cm the code is 11606 another example related to benign lesion as you can see in this picture 2 into 1 cm so we need to consider the highest diameter and you can see the margin 0.2 cm so always double the margin that will become 0.4 cm so that 0.4 cm you will add it to the highest diameter that is 2 cm then the total will become 2.4 cm and according to the 2.4 cm you have to select accurate code from the subsection of integumentary system which is excision of benign lesion you can see in your cpt book this is another more example related to malignant lesion you have uh, 11400 this code is for benign lesion and the group is this trunk arms or legs and the diameter 0.5 cm or less if the physician described that from the arm he has excised benign lesion up to 0.7 cm then you will assign this code 0.7 cm if he mentions the margin then double double it and see what the total is then assign that particular code this is for 0.6 to 1 cm and this code is for uh 1.1 to 2 cm and uh this code is for up to 3 cm then again 11404 is for up to 4 cm and 11406 is for over 4.0 cm it will be 5 6 7 8 9 10 more than that this all codes are 114002 11406 is for the group trunk arms or legs and for the benign lesion and the next is 11420 the code description 
is same like the above benign lesion procedures but here the group is different scalp neck hand feet genitalia and you can see this is except skin tag if the physician is mentioning the procedure related to skin tag then you have to code it separately and the excised diameter is 0.5 cm or less and same like that you have to assign the code as per the excised diameter of benign lesion and I think you guys remember about the semicolon till the semicolon the code description is same for all the codes within the same group and only the difference in these codes you can uh, see is the excised diameter size of particular benign lesion so this group ranges from 11440 to 11446 and the next code is 11450 the description of this code is excision of skin and subcutaneous tissue for hydrodenitis axillary with simple or intermediate repair. So this procedure related to the other group called axillary means armpit. Before I start explaining about this code description you need to know what is hydrodenitis. Hydrodenitis means the small lump formed in the armpit and inflammation caused due to rubbing of the skin in the armpit so this is heterodentis in this procedure the physician will prep wrap and anesthetize the area which is affected with heterodentis and he will excise the affected area skin throw down to the subcutaneous tissue after the procedure is completed, the physician will repair the wound with simple or intermediate methods. Now, what is repair? Repair means suturing or stitching the wound. And to know more details about the repairs, you can watch the video repairs which is also the subsection of integumentary system. However, to identify whether the wound is sutured in simple way, the keywords are layer, layer with cleaning, simple closure, superficial closure, epidermal closure, dermal closure. And also to identify intermediate repair, the keywords are layers, layered, layered with extensive cleaning layered with extensive debridement and multiple layered and the next code is 11451 from the above code till the semicolon the description is same for this code also 11451 but only the difference is the complex repair so now what is complex repair the keywords to identify the complex repair is whether the suture is extensive undermining or retention sutures and the next code is 11462 here the code description is same like the above codes but only the difference is anatomical site is different that is inguinal means the anatomical site is related to groin if the physician is uh, documenting in the patient's record the heterodentis is excised at inguinal site or groin after the procedure the physician close the wound with simple or intermediate repair then assign this code or if he mentions complex repair then assign 11463 and uh, again we have uh, the same procedure excision of skin and subcutaneous tissue for hydrodenitis but the anatomical 
sides or body group is different you can see the highlighted that is perianal perineal or umbilical what is perianal which means surrounding the anus perineal means the region which is between uh, external sex organ and anus umbilical means the region related to navel or the central part of the abdomen and if the procedure is ending with simple or intermediate repair you assign 11470 if the procedure is ending with complex repair then assign 11471 so these all are about uh, excision procedure of benign lesion next we have uh, excision of malignant lesion the procedure is same but uh, the physician will excise malignant lesion malignant lesions means the cancerous cells which will spread from one part of the body to other part of the body so we have the code 11600 excision procedure of malignant lesion including margins here the group is trunk arms or legs excised diameter 0.5 cm or less and 11601 this code is up to 1 cm up to 2 cm or to 3 cm up to 4 cm or over 4 cm we have the codes of malignant lesion and the group is trunk arms or legs and uh, the other group the procedure is same but the group is different scalp neck hands feet genitalia and the excess diameter if the physician is mentioning 0.5 cm or less and the group is scalp neck hands feet genitalia and the lesion is malignant then assign 11620 or excess diameter up to 1 cm then assign 11621 and if the excise diameter is up to 2 cm then assign 11622 if it is 3 cm then assign 11623 and if it is 4 11624 and if it is over 4 cm you can assign 11626 then we have uh, another group that is uh, face ears eyelids nose lips and if the physician is mentioning the malignant lesion is excised less than uh, 0.5 cm then assign 11640 and if the physician is mentioning uh, up to 1 cm excised diameter 11641 if up to 2 cm up to 3 cm up to 4 cm we have the codes and over 4 cm you have to assign 11646 so this is all about uh, malignant lesion excision procedure and you have some questions for practicing excision procedure pause the video and answer these questions and the answers are and for any doubts or practicing questions you can request me on uh, cpctrainer@protonmail.com and uh, please don't uh, forget to mention the section name and uh, thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel like share and comment